mixed martial arts pedigree and a professional record of 13 wins and one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighed in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Makakala in Russia, Omari Lukek Akhmedov. Introducing next, the fighter in the red corner. This man is a grappling ace. A professional record of 11 wins, no losses and one draw. He stands 5 feet 11 tall and weighed in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Reykjavik in Iceland. Gunnar Gunny Nelson. Where the action begins, the referee in the octagon, Grant Waterman. Grant Waterman is the referee. The lovely Christie adding some glamour to proceedings. We are all set for three five-minute rounds in the welterweight we go, division. Guys. You ready? You ready? Let's go. is brought to you by EA Sports UFC coming spring 2014. As we see Gunnar Nelson sporting the black wrestling trunks and Amari Ahmedov in the white with red. And I'm that interested to style yeah. to open things up there. I'm interested to see what Amari does with this because I, I can't imagine he's faced this a great deal before. Must be a pretty difficult guy to come up against, someone who's so very well versed in the ground arts but brings such a definitive karate style as well. Yeah, yeah. and so unorthodox as well. Like, you know, he's switching stance, which is a you know a huge benefit in this sport if you can have a, a vary of attacks. But as we can see, Akhmedov has power in both hands. He is a much more aggressive fighter, if you like, and he's going to really jump on his opportunities. Yeah, I I'm surprised how uh, he's taking his time in his first minute of the first round. He, uh, he's obviously got a lot of respect for Gunnar. Can be slightly wild, but with that unpredictable, that could play into the hands of Gunnar Nelson, however, who does like and tend to counter strike. Well, Gunnar's doing really well at, at using fakes to uh, to keep his opponent on his toes. He's, he's making uh, Akhmedov very nervous because he, he just doesn't know what's coming. And this can be quite exhausting, particularly if you swing in a miss like that. Transition to Neon Belly, beautiful against the fence to mount. Wow, that was super quick, Dan, into that mount position. Although, there we go, Akhmedov straight out of uh, mount. Oh, and wow, and back in again. Wow, damage done early to Akhmedov. It was that straight left from Gunnar Nelson as he finds some room to start opening up. Well, we can see a, a mark on Akhmedov's face. It looked like that was from the, uh, the straight right that. Uh, that Nelson threw. Seven submission wins out of 11 for Gunnar Nelson. And, and his last fight was the first one that went to the distance as well against a, a, a very tough George Santiago. That's worth noting because most of the time he's, uh, he's the guy that finishes. Look how tight that yeah. mount is, Danny. No bucking at all from Alder. He's going to shift in. Yeah, make a good ball rider with a mount like that. <laughs> something to look to when he finishes his career as a martial artist I guess huge elbows there from Nelson just in front of his corner the SBG beautiful ground control very heavy slowing his opponent down just chipping away those elbows are going to start adding up after a while oh, really favoring those elbow attacks in this first round and, and the danger is in this position for Akhmedov is if he cre creates a scramble, he could leave something open and, uh, and, and Gunnar could jump on an arm or a neck. And, and we've seen him do it before. Well, Nelson's been out for a little while, but he is straight back into action. Blown out the cobwebs very early on. Yeah, yeah. No way to wrap this. Beautiful elbows. Really short, really choppy. Very, very well measured as well. Yeah. yeah. This, he's very concise. He's, a, he's, I mean, he's, a, he's a, the consummate technician, but he's very concise with everything he does. There's no wasted movement, and that, I think that's partly to his karate background. You know, they, they don't uh, throw several combinations. Is that single strike that can put you on your on your back like we saw from the left hand earlier? Even his posture mm. seems strong, Dan. It does. He just looks immovable right now. 90 seconds left in this opening round. It's a huge round. Amari's got to watch that arm that he's bringing across the centre line. 
Well, this is just the thing. I mean, he's obviously always looking for submission opportunities, but he's having some very good success with the elbows. Here we go. He's isolating that arm. He's isolating that arm. Now, expect Gunnar to start chopping with some hammer fists and, uh, and go for that arm. We may see that uh, later on in the fight because he looks like he's setting it up right now. Oh, wow. Beautiful elbow. 45 seconds left as Gunnar Nelson starts to pick up the pace a little bit. There were some huge elbows. That's, that's money in the bank for the later rounds for Gunnar. I like the way he took wrist control and just turned the elbow over and found a home just under the eye of Amari Akwadov. Last 30 seconds. This is where he's dangerous. There's the guillotine attack. That's very tight. Oh, what's that? Amari Akwadov is tight. It is all over in the very first round. A victory for Gunnar Nelson of Iceland. A tough welcome to the UFC for Amari Akwadov right there. It, a, a hell of an opponent to step into uh, for, for your debut, though. For your, uh, your your second fight in the in the UFC, that was that, that was a, a, a fantastic performance from Gunnar. No messing around. Were there any moments in that display, Dan, that you can even cast some criticism on Gunnar Nelson? Well, th there's not really much you can say about it, to be honest. He, he was very patient when the fight started. He was looking to set that straight left up, and uh, you know, and when he landed it cleanly, when he landed it cleanly, it did the job. Absolute faultless. But let's take a look. That's some of that handiwork. So there's this straight the left round. coming. Pop! Right, oh, beautiful. That's what did the damage. Straight down to the ground, and, and pretty much the rest of the fight was done there. He kept top control, he wore him down, and uh, softened him up with some big shots. Big shots. I was expecting to see a second round out of this one, but that just shows you how quickly Gunnar can snag a neck. Very, very tight. Didn't even see the tap from her. There it is, around the leg. Beautiful. Fantastic submission. A fantastic submission and performance indeed from Gunnar Nelson. Now for the official announcements, let's send it back to the Octagon and Andy Friedlander. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the official announcement of the decision. Referee Grant Waterman stopped the bout at a time of 4 minutes and 36 seconds of the first round. The winner by guillotine choke, Gunnar Nelson! Gary Nelson, Victor.